Monday friends! Today I thought it'd be fun to share with you guys some fall 2020 trends. I went ahead and chose some of my favorite trends and I'll show you guys images that I got of Pinterest. And I also created one outfit per trend that I liked. And yeah, so I went ahead and chose some trends that are more like easier to wear on an everyday basis. And yeah, so let's just go ahead and get started with trend number one. So the first trend that I saw is belted jackets or blazers, whichever it may be. But belting it is like something I've seen a lot on Pinterest and it's honestly an easy trend to do because you know if you just have a blazer or anything you just throw on a belt over it. So I think it's a fairly easy trend to follow. And so I've attached three images here that you guys will see. And yeah, so you could do it with like the one of the examples is with a plaid blazer, a gray blazer, and like a camel blazer. So yeah, I think they're very, very cute outfits. It's like an extra take on, you know, just wearing your blazer opened or anything like that. So I really like the belted look. And it also cinches your waist really nice. So that is really, really good about that trend. And for the outfit that I chose, I decided to do a plaid blazer with a brown belt. And I kept the outfit pretty neutral just because I love neutrals. But yeah, so I put a brown belt with some beige corduroy pants and taupe boots as well. Yeah, I think keeping your outfit very neutral and monochromatic is like makes you look so chic. So I really really love this outfit that I put together. Okay, so the second trend will be fringe. And we've seen this everywhere now on the runways and stuff. So I personally only own one fringe item in my whole closet just because I've owned a lot of fringe in the past, but I don't know if I just don't wash it right or I don't know what it is, but I always ruin like the fringe. On the item so I've stopped purchasing fringe actually so I don't think I'm gonna purchase any more fringe for a while unless it's like the most beautiful piece ever so fringe you could wear on the dress on the jacket um, on the top on the skirt like there's so many endless possibilities for it but I only have a jacket and you guys will see how I style that now but for the images that I have attached here from Pinterest one is a beautiful like trench coat dress in a way and the other one one is a jacket which is kind of similar to the one that I have and then the other one is a French bag which is I thought was so cool like I think I'd actually grab that to like follow the trend in a way just because I think the fringe on this bag here looks really really cool and yeah so for the outfit that I put together this is the only item that I own that's fringe and it's a suede like moto jacket in a way with fringe and um, I really love the color of this. I think it goes with anything. And I paired it with a black lace top and the same color booties to go with the jacket. And I just threw on a black rancher hat to finish off the look. Okay, so for the third trend, it'll be like colorful check slash plaid. I personally don't own a lot of um, colorful plaid just because it's not really my vibe. <laughs> More of a neutral person, like I said, so... Um, and these three images I've attached here, I feel like they're a great example of colorful plaid, but like it doesn't look like too much in my opinion. So yeah, so first like there's um, plaid pants, and she mixed it with like a lot of different prints, which I think looks really really cool. Okay, so the other two images are skirts, and it's like a blue and green plaid, which, you know, I never really thought about purchasing those colors, but now that I see it on these girls, it looks so cute on. And for the outfit that I styled, I used neutral plaid colors. It's in these flare pants and I paired it with like a cute little um, black knitted cardigan and and with loafers. I think it just looks like a cool little preppy look and preppy is also a really um, trendy style that's in for the fall. So I think it like perfectly tied it all in. The next trend is like intimate slash like slip dresses. I personally have never really gotten into this trend other than the slip dresses just because like wearing like super lacy like um, body suits or something is just really out of my comfort zone. So the way that I take that trend is that I use slip dresses and like layer them underneath like sweaters or you know there's so many ways to wear them. So I thought I attached three images for you guys here. One is like that super lacy like bralette look. And if you're comfortable with that, then by all means wear that, but I personally don't. So I've also attached two other like slip dresses on how to style them. And I really like the one with the black combat boots. I think that looks so cool and chic. And yeah, and then the other one, she has like 
snake print knee high boots and she layered a sweater over the slip dress so that's like also another way you can wear it. The outfit that I styled, I recently grabbed this slip dress from Forever 21 and it is so cute. Like it has all these um, prints on it but it's very neutral tone and I paired it with a knitted sweater um, underneath and then I paired it off with taupe boots just to keep it a super neutral look. I kind of did two trends and one for this outfit because I wore a rib knit um, sweater underneath and that's actually a big trend for fall as well. So trend number five will be knitted vests or sweater vests, whatever you guys like to call them. But I'm sure you've seen this everywhere and you know I've never really been into sweater vests in the past but once I saw that it was going to start trending I started uh, buying some and I gotta say I really really love the trend. Like it's so, there's so many different ways to wear the vest like over a button up or just on its own. So for the images that I grabbed off Pinterest, they're all layered underneath uh, button-down shirts and two of them are with trousers which is a really nice touch to the sweater vest but then the last one that I see is also um, paired with some black denim and like combat boots which I really really like that look. I might want to try an outfit like that next with my sweater vest. The outfit that I put together I actually went ahead and paired it with a skirt. It's like a hound tooth print skirt and with a white button up top and then I layered this um, camel color vest over it and then I paired it with some knee high boots which I really really love this outfit like I think this is probably my favorite outfit that I put together in this video and yeah it just gives me like really preppy schoolgirl vibes as well okay so next up will be the trend of patchwork and Patrick was around last year as well, but I didn't really find much Patrick last year, but I've bought in a few items this year with Patrick in them, and I'm so excited to wear them because I really, really love Patchwork, and there's so many different ways to wear it, from like jackets, blazers, um, skirts, dresses, like it's an infinite amount of ways to wear Patchwork. So I went ahead and attached these three images for you. One is like a denim Patchwork cropped um, jacket, and I think that's so cool, like... I think I'd really like to buy one like that. And the other one is like a patchwork skirt, which I think looks cute with like the little knee-high boots she paired it with. And then lastly, the image with the patchwork coat, which I think looks so cute and it's also belted. And yeah, I think it's a really cute trend. I decided to style my favorite patchwork dress that I got off Depop. And I'm obsessed with that dress. Like you probably see me styling it so many different ways. But I decided to style it this time with more like of a punk rock vibe just because it's such a boho dress but I wanted to change the style up a bit. So I went ahead and paired it with black combat boots and paired it with a black leather jacket as well. I just really love how this outfit turned out and I can't wait to wear it out. <laughs> so trend number seven would be cardigans and I'm sure you guys have seen this everywhere. It's been around for a while now. It was around spring and summer. I just wear your cardigan as a top obviously. I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen that, but it's not going anywhere. It's going to stay here probably for a while again. So the three images here I put on Pinterest. One is paired with white denim. The other one's paired with a black tennis skirt, it looks like. And then the other one's just with denim. But that one with the denim, I've seen a lot of cute um, Instagram pictures with like the matching rib knit top to the rib knit cardigan. And I think it's that's so cute. Like I probably want to invest in buying one of those matching like sets. So for the outfit that I put together, I went ahead and put a rust cardigan and tucked it into um, some mom jeans and then I paired it with um, combat boots because I wanted to give it more of an edgier vibe to the outfit. And I paired it with a beige handbag just because I thought it gave it a cute little pop of color. And yeah, I really love this outfit and I can't wait to start wearing sweaters because I love fall. Okay, we've reached the last trend and it'll be the oversized um, jacket or how people call it, um, shack it. <laughs> I got tongue tied there. Shack it. I think that's a really genius word. <laughs> but yeah, I've been seeing these everywhere as well and I personally have to watch out for when I buy oversized because I'm really petite so I feel like sometimes it could like swallow me but um, I actually found a really good one at Forever 21 that you guys will see in a little bit. Okay, so for the images you can see that they're paired with denim. I think one is like an acid wash denim if I'm not wrong. Then the other one has like leather leggings, which I think looks really, really cute and chic. 
And yeah, I really love that plaid one with the blue and like taupe colors. Like I really love to get one like that. But yeah, I really like that look as well with the green plaid one with like pairing it um, with a hoodie. I think that looks so cute as well. So for the outfit that I put together, I went ahead and put some black flare jeans with a belt and this beige knitted shirt. And then I put the jacket over it. I ended up um, topping off the look with a rancher hat in the same color or tones as the, the jacket. And yeah, I just really love how this outfit turned out as well. This might be my second favorite out of this whole video. That'll be the end of my video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. Also, I'll leave my Instagram handle somewhere here for you guys. And make sure to follow me so you guys can see how I style more fall outfits. Also, let me know which outfit was your favorite. Or tell me what um, fall trend you're excited to try out this year. And yeah, I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!